I am Dr. Laurent Galbrun, lecturer in architecture engineering in the School of Energy, Geoscience, Infrastructure and Society. So what is architecture engineering? If we think about a building and the design of the building, there will be different disciplines involved in that. The architect will be responsible for designing the shape of the building, its layout, the structural engineer will be responsible for making sure that it can stand up, while the architecture engineer will be responsible for making sure that it's comfortable to live in. Now, an architect engineer is not an architect, despite the fact that the term architectural is there, it's an engineer. So the degree leads you to become an engineer, not an architect. The type of things we'll actually do is look at thermal comfort, so making sure we can provide heating, ventilation, air conditioning, but also provide water, electricity, lighting, and have good acoustics. Some particularly important subjects are energy, sustainability, and carbon emissions. We want to design buildings that have low energy consumption, low carbon emissions, and these are challenges that are very important, and the architectural engineer is at the forefront in providing even innovative solutions for those. In terms of the degrees offered within the school, we very much cover all the built environments. So we offer degrees in civil, structural engineering, construction project management, quantity surveying, urban planning and property development. But what sets architecture engineering apart is very much its cohort size. We tend to have classes of approximately 30 students, and I see that as being very beneficial in terms of the interaction you can have between the lecturer and the students. We also do carry out research, and that's very important in terms of informing our teaching and providing innovative solutions. And we do research in the fields of energy, drainage, acoustics, and thermal comfort. In terms of the degrees we offer in architectural engineering, we have a Bachelor of Engineering degree, so an honors degree of four years, and a Master of Engineering of five years. Now, you can enroll on one or the other, and you can still decide to move to one or the other within the first four years, as the first four years are effectively common to the two degrees. The degree is very much an evolution of what used to be called building services engineering, but the term architecture engineering now encapsulates more design elements that are included within the degree. In the first year, you will have fairly general topics covering things like introduction to the environment, introduction to design, you will do some math, but from the following years, you will have more specialist courses. For example, in year two, you will have a design project where you will learn about sustainability solutions, low carbon buildings, how to design water systems for a building and heating systems. You will learn about acoustics, which is the course I teach. So sound insulation in buildings, making sure you don't hear your neighbors, having good room acoustics so that you can hear properly in a space used for speech or a space used for music. In year three, you will have more specialist topics such as uh, electrical services, lighting services, energy in buildings, uh, as well as the use of certain software. In year four, you have a very large design project. Uh, that's the equivalent of three courses. And effectively, you're given a design brief, and you spend one week with other disciplines finding solutions. So you will be working with construction managers, quantity surveyors, civil engineers, planners, and you will have a design by the end of that week that we will carry forward for the rest of the year in terms of architectural engineering solutions. In year four, you will also be doing a dissertation, and that will be an opportunity to do some research, and you will be able to use our excellent lab facilities, uh, or you will be able to do some more theoretical work with software, or do a more literature-based type of work. Now, in terms of the work you'll do across the different years, you'll have a combination of coursework, group work, presentations, you'll have some exams, you'll be able to use the facilities uh, for coursework or dissertation. So you really have a wide range of learning opportunities and developing different skills. The course is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers, CIPSI, and by the Energy Institute, EI. And that guarantees that our course is recognized as being of high quality, and it is also aligned with industry needs. Being accredited means that you can also apply for chartered engineer status. Now, that's if you have done the five years of the MEng degree, or you could do the BEng and do a master at a later stage, and then have the educational basis to apply for being a chartered engineer. We also have an industrial advisory panel, 
and this provides some talks to our students where they discuss projects they've been working on. They also provide site visits to some of their building projects. The degree has 100% employability within six months of graduation. And actually, uh, for the MN students, they do carry out an industrial project in year five, and that tends to give them an edge compared to the BN degree. In particular, they're often employed by the company where they did carry out their uh, uh, industrial placement. In terms of where you can work, there is really not one specific type of place. It goes from large multinational companies to smaller local companies. You might be working in architectural practices, and you might be doing work that is very much covering the variety of fields in architectural engineering. Or you could decide to specialize in one field. For example, some of my students are currently working in some acoustic consultancies. Or you could become a sustainability engineer. So there are really a wide range of opportunities. On that point, there are also opportunities to uh, study abroad. We are an international university, so we do offer architectural engineering in Dubai, and you could carry out a year or a semester in Dubai, which we typically recommend to do in year three. If you decide to do the degree with international studies, you can carry out year four abroad. And we currently have agreements with universities in Italy, Czech Republic, the United States, and Australia. So overall, architectural engineering is an exciting and topical field, which is well established in industry and which provides excellent work opportunities.